<laughs> Busy doesn't quite describe life at the Huffman's house in Apex. <laughs> With five children under the age of six, Lisa and Joe juggle everything, including their four-month-old twins, Joshua and Amanda. They're good twins. They're good babies. They don't cry a lot. Except at the doctor's office. By the time babies reach the age of two in North Carolina, they're required to have a series of vaccinations. Measles, mumps, rubella, you get two injections. Uh, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, you get four by the time you're two. Polio, you get three by the time you're two. Hepatitis B, you get three, so that if you're doing the arithmetic, you can see what we're talking about. Dr. Sam Katz heads up Duke University's Pediatric Health Policy and Infectious Disease Program. He says kids could get the same protection with fewer shots thanks to a combination vaccine. We just really couldn't defend not having it available if it was out there and people wanted it. Dr. Michael Smith is a pediatrician in Cary. He's one of only a handful of North Carolina physicians who offers a combination vaccine vaccine that cuts out five shots for their patients. But in North Carolina, most parents haven't heard of the combination vaccine Pediorix because the state doesn't offer it through its program, which provides vaccines free of charge to every child in North Carolina, even if you have insurance that would pay for it. And I think there are lots, in fact, most North Carolina families would view it as rather odd that they should be welfare recipients because they have children, that, that they should get free health care in this case uh, when they are perfectly capable of paying their own way. John Hood of the John Locke Foundation says the state program doesn't make financial nor policy sense. Here's the breakdown. The Centers for Disease Control gave North Carolina's immunization program nearly $35 million last year to vaccinate children on Medicaid, those who are uninsured, underinsured or Native American. Tar Heel taxpayers picked up more than $14.3 million to pay for everyone else. That's money well spent, according to Tom Vitalioni of the North Carolina Child Advocacy Institute. Providers love it and you go out of their way to make children immunized. Families find it so easy that it's it, that they don't have to go from one place to another to get immunized. And so our, resu our result has gone up. In the nine years since the Institute has put out its annual child health report card, compliance for children getting vaccines by age two has shot up from 62 percent to 85 percent. While those numbers are impressive, the program has ended up limiting parents' options. This is our uh, state-funded diphtheria tetanus whooping cough and state-funded haemophilus influenza B. Back at Dr. Smith's office, his supply includes vaccines in the state program. And then this is the uh, Pediorix. And the privately purchased combination vaccine, so his patients have a choice. That's a lot less tears and a lot less swelling in their little legs.